What's up guys, I'm just a gamer, and I'm just here to bring you my thoughts on Bethesda's press conference. Uh, sorry for the light, it's a bit bright, but I'm not recording at my <laughs> my own house, I'm at a buddy's, at a buddy's place, so please bear with me. But uh, let's just get into it. So, first and foremost, uh, Quake Champions, wow. Amazing. I rem I'm so old, I remember playing the first Quake on PC and dang I I don't know why but I loved the look of Quake Champions and I'm sorry to say but dang with this coming out I gotta say is Overwatch just gonna be done with is, is it gonna have just one year in the limelight and then Quake is just gonna come in and take it away I mean that's a big statement from me but I'm just saying from past experience with me playing having played the original Quake and being a big fan of that now there's and I know there's big fans of it still around, so I don't know. It could be over for Overwatch already. And with that being said, uh, let's go with uh, Prey, which also looked amazing. I mean, completely new game, uh, which I think is great. They got rid of the old, um, I guess, stigmatism of the of the other of the first Prey and the stigmatism of the sequel prey 2 which was canceled or pushed back multiple times and i guess just to get rid of that uh legacy of it they just went and rebooted it which i think was a fantastic idea on their part and i again the trailer looked amazing i cannot wait for that game it looks so good uh obviously all the stuff for fallout was amazing all the mod supports coming uh the nuka world expansion looks great always Everything's always good with Fallout. Uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, all the expansion stuff looked really good. The one thing that interested me was the one Tamriel. Is that just going to be on specific servers, or is that just universally the whole game's going to be like that now? Which would be really, really interesting. I mean, like I said, it's never been done before. And I just find it interesting, like, how that's going to work. And I want to keep my eye on it, just to see. But that looked good, too. Um, then there was also, of course, Skyrim Remastered, which, of course, hundreds of people are probably going to rebuy just to get, especially now that's going to have mod support, just like Fallout 4, which is going to be crazy. Again, great showing. And then they finished off with Dishonored 2, which, again, looked really, really good. One tidbit that they went over by real quick was the fast, that real fast, was the fact that you get to play as either... Carvo from the first game or as Emily which I thought was huge but they didn't really de dive into it they kept the rest of the demo just focused on Emily and they really showed nothing for Corvo and I really wanted to see what you know what's new with Corvo but again I guess they want to focus on Emily so it was fine but I really 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 interesting tidbit knowing that you can actually play as one or the other so that's going to be really cool and again, the demo and everything else for Dishonored looked fantastic and amazing. I can't wait for it. I Honestly, overall, Bethesda knocked it out of the park again. They get like an A plus in my book. I mean, Sony, Microsoft, and Ubisoft, they have a hell of a lot to do or to a challenge to overcome this press conference. I mean, so far, it could already be the best conference of E3 already. I mean, it was that amazing in my opinion. But uh, that's just my opinion again. You guys may think differently. You guys let me know. Take care and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next for the rest of the press conferences. Take care. Bye.